I have no emotional links with them, or with anybody for that matter. Each claims that his wares are the best to be found in the market. They are shallow, empty people. gestures of the body, of hands or of face constituted the first language. Nothing can ever come out of it, first of all because the people who start conferences and those who are going to debate on peace will sooner or later start a war. Apparently you know a great deal about enlightenment you must, for you are searching for it. Its meaning may be interpreted in several ways. In any event you do not act, you just think, which is to postpone. New ideas can just as easily be too logical and therefore defective. My mother died when I was seven days old. These are abstract concepts on which they have built a tremendous philosophical structure. I have no way of transmitting it and you have no way of knowing it. Reaching the end of opposites has rather frightening implications. What's so mad about wanting to find out about life and death? But the repeating of mantras and other sacred techniques do seem to quiet thought. So love is just another name for the power game? Is that what I want to believe? But the repeating of mantras and other sacred techniques do seem to quiet thought.
But what about hope? Surely man lives by hope. But if we are nothing more than the sum total of our past, the prediction becomes easy and accurate. What is the self? Where is it? What is its qualities? What is solid about it? Where is the I that could relate to God? The journey of enlightenment, if you want to put it in a simplified form, is the journey that moves you from your empirical self, anything that you can see or know about yourself, any object, to pure awareness, pure self, your true self. The self that cannot be made an object, but is the space in which all of this is arising. Is emptying the mind enlightenment? but I see no real difference between the two. We do everything to destroy affection. When are you going to be at peace yourself? Next life? No chance. It is but a reaction, a reflection. considering what consciousness actually is. The moment thought is there, there is time and space. In it there is no hope but travail. But the mind wanders all over the place. So, we find that the conflict is not inevitable. Hindu, Muslim, Christian, and all the rest of it. You want to have open relationship with. You take what you can jolly well get. examples as a means of inspiration. Will you please explain further what you mean? The moment of creation is not born of struggle. You are mere cogs in a machine.
And that's a miracle. The important thing to see is the false separation between you and the tree, not who is looking at whom. You may very well ask why the hell I am talking. The boy, an expert in childbirth, gave me a sort of explanation. Everything is in flux. Even your feelings are memory. Strictly speaking, all transforming processes can be called evolutionary. The actual tests took place not at the moment immediately before formal initiation, but over a whole course, in some cases a very long one, of study and preparation. A normally constructed truth lives as a rule, let us say, 15, 16, at the most 20, years seldom longer. When once you place your hope, belief, and confidence in your guru, you are stuck with him. Love is an invention of the moment, used to replace power. You are not clear what you really want. Thank you. 